Hi, we're here with the cast and crew from Carried Away. We really appreciate you guys being here. Thanks so much. Thank you for having us. Yes, tell us a little bit about the story. It's about a young man who kidnaps his grandmother uh, to give her a better life from a nursing home, and he gets chased by his father and brothers to bring her back. It takes place across the southwestern United States. I understand this is semi-autobiographical. Tell me mm -hmm. a little bit about that. Uh, it is based on my relationship with my grandmother, but I didn't kidnap her. Felt <laughs> like it, but I didn't. <laughs> Probably should have. Yeah, it's kind of a what if type of story. And I understand that you, you know, heard about the project and really encouraged Tom to make it. What about it, the project specifically attracted you to it and wanted to get that message out? Uh, well, you know, I just, I really wanted to work with Tom Huckabee and, um, Anybody that knows him or doesn't know him, he's kind of the godfather of indie film in North Texas. And so <laughs> he just, and, and meeting him, getting to know him, he's an amazing artist. And uh, But reading the script, there were just edgy, interesting moments that I, I just hoped that we could get this off the ground and go in. So it was a great role, and the film turned out beautiful. Yeah, the cinematography looks great. I was viewing a little bit of the trailer and stuff. So now tell me about your personal experience, you know, being granny, being able to have to tap into people with dementia and everything. That's that's hard, you yeah. know, because you you take it in personally and then you all of a sudden at the same time realize what they're going through. Well, I, I wanted to be true to Tom's grandmother for one thing. Mm -hmm. He had to keep telling me to be meaner. Be meaner. <laughs> oh, and, I don't uh, believe that. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Um, my father-in-law uh, died from complications of Alzheimer's. So I've lived with it. Uh, and I understand the quirks of it. Uh, anyone that hasn't really can't experience it as, as well. So I'm hoping that what we've done with it will show the, the ups and downs of it. Uh, how it manifests itself yeah and affects not only the person with it mm -hmm. but also the the people that, sur that are surrounding them yes because it's the entire family that mm -hmm. deals with it and has to cope with it and everything mm -hmm. um, I think that is one of the prevailing and powerful messages behind the movie is the fact you know you're looking into the life of this granny and then how everything else plays out I understand also that there are other themes behind this and they all tie together kind of a neat play on words with Carried Away, too. Um, describe some of those other events, and also, are those autobiographical? I mean, are those your family members, too? Uh, well, uh, based on my family, uh, there's only three boys in the, fa in the movie family, kind of like the Bonanza, but, uh, and my family has um, uh, also a sister, and there's three boys, but that was to underline the fact that it's not supposed to be an expose of my family. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's supposed to be more kind of a, a universally dysfunctional family that any family could relate to. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, so <laughs> I don't want, you know, it's not my family. And, and one and of those underlying, I'll let you talk in just a second. <laughs> I really will, Go ahead, is, is one of the un underlying things is that you can't just talk at your relatives, anybody in a relationship. Mm -hmm. You have to actually talk to them and have a dialogue and interchange before um, you're going to solve anything. Yeah. Your turn. Well, I was just going to say that, that, <laughs> that Granny's dementia is one of the uncontrollable dysfunctions, if you will, in the family. There's many more problems with the Franklin oh, yeah. family, you know, so yeah, um, yeah it's just yeah, very, not all their fault. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right. yeah. Well, uh, but but yeah, it's it's you know multidimensional, very realistic. I think everybody <laughs> can relate to, if not every character, somebody in this movie. Oh, yeah. You know, and that's oh, really touching that's our audience. Aunt yeah, absolutely. Yeah. One of the bi biggest mistakes he makes, because um, he's working from a good heart into wanting to make his grandmother happier, but doesn't know how to do it really. And uh, one of the big mistakes she makes is forgetting to bring her antipsychotic medication along. Yeah. Oh, who needs uh, that? Who needs which that? I have here to give you now. Oh, Pretty boy. Lots of girl. girl. Yes. yes. They have it. Doubles it as a breath mint. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the souvenir. I appreciate <laughs> And everybody that comes to the movie gets one of those. Yes. No way. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, I'm honored. Yeah. <laughs>
Fantastic. Oh, let's see. You even have it all. Marked if you up. love the movie, you don't need to applaud. You just oh, just shake. <laughs> hey. There you go. I like cool. the promotion. Yeah. That takes that. it to a whole nother level. That's great. We did that at our world premiere in Oxford, Mississippi, and uh, people caught on to that really quick, and then they started doing yeah. it in other people's yeah. rooms, so yeah. our film yeah. is being promoted during other people's screenings, which was oh. kind of devilish, but... But it worked. But it was yeah. good. It was good so, uh, subconscious marketing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what you gotta do, you know? You gotta go stealth. Um, well, speak to the production, you know? We're actually doing very with a very heavy topic, but sometimes that can kind of come out a little bit comedic. You know, you kind of bust out a character, and it's all of a sudden like, okay, wait, I gotta go back. You know, speak to what happened on on set, how you guys handled it. You know, and it also can be very tearful and sorrowful. You know, mm -hmm. so speak to what happened. What? Go well, ahead. we're calling it a human comedy, and uh, and I think that's basically a tragedy with a happy ending. I think. And, uh, and which is sort of the contribution that American uh, drama has made to world drama before we came along. There were tragedies and then there were comedies and we came up with this idea because we're positive people. Okay. The tragedy with that being the that's that's nice. You know, you kind of find hope in, in dark times. Right. That's usually where you find it, and it carries you through to a better season. So that's that's fantastic. Well, also you you have uh, some of your darkest moments have to be alleviated mm -hmm. by comedy. I mean, that's how we cope as human beings. Yeah, yeah, we laugh at contradiction mm -hmm. right? and people falling and hurting themselves. Right. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which may may not have happened, <laughs> given the reference. <laughs> well, now tell me, I have a note here that Facebook friends contributed craft services. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. Isn't that? Yeah. That's cool, huh? Yeah, about $2,000 was raised that way. and. Everybody's doing it. It's the new way of making films, and it makes each person, uh, it creates more stakeholders for the movie, you know? Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. each person that joins the Facebook fan site and, and, or, and gives money, they feel really invested, and they tell their friends, and it's like when it comes to their town, it's their movie, you know? So they invite everybody, and I think that's what, uh, that's the way things are going. Kind of like the way, what happened with the rock and roll business or the music business in the last few years where it just collapsed, but at the same time something more beautiful I think is rising out of the catastrophe of what happened to that business and I think a similar things happening in the film business mm -hmm. where it's, it's all about little movies for coming yeah, out of life. the community. So you have, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's no longer any centralized uh, place like Hollywood really right. where all the entertainment's coming from, it's just coming from everywhere. Yeah, and that's nice. You know, you get a personal stake in it. You get a, and I think that more of the independent films that are coming out really have messages, things that are really driven, that drive people, which ultimately makes it more realistic, more relatable, and what really stories should be. You know, and, and to to offer those certain messages, whether social, emotional, economic, whatever. Um, but to that uh, as well, you know, being a Texas uh, director, writer, everything, and having all these Facebook people, I'm sure that it's just promoted your movie, especially, but how great it, it is that you are also at the Dallas Film Festival. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's just amazing to be able to connect with your friends and, um, and make friends because they like the sound of your movie mm -hmm. and then you become friends and you start hearing about their relationships with their grandmothers and loved ones with dementia and it almost it's almost like you become friends with everyone who likes your film. Yeah, and it's definitely more rewarding at that, you know, it kind of has a reverse uh, impact too. Right. You know, where you're trying to spread a message but also that message comes back and helps. As yes. well. It creates a very rewarding experience. Well, dementia and Alzheimer's are very prevalent now. Yes. Probably because we talk about it more. Mm -hmm. And we have more access to the information about it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, well, we're definitely excited to have you guys here with, with the festival. Have you guys had a good time so far? Oh, I've had a great oh, yeah. time, yeah. I've Everyone's been coming been to, you know, it kind of started as the Deep Ellum Film Festival 10 years ago, became the AFI Dallas Festival, and now this is the first year of the. Dallas International Film Festival, but it's all being run by the same people, kind of an evolving thing, and I've been coming since the 
very beginning of it's the last dog died for, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's granny says it yeah. mm -hmm. you know yeah. one thing i would like to say is we're planning a non-traditional theatrical tour where we're going to tour around america kind of like a rock band in a van <laughs> and go to nursing homes and retirement oh, centers wow. and uh, churches community groups alzheimer's organizations and uh just want to get the word out there that, um, that that's happening and we'll be coming to your town. And if you're interested, go to www.carrythewaythemovie.com, send us a note, and we'll come to your town and show it to your, your people. If we can. Yeah, well, that is awesome, what you yeah. guys are about to do and everything. And I know that the film festival itself is proud to be able to promote, you know, through have that and um, support you guys in that message. So thank you so much for submitting the film and we thank hope you, you have a wonderful festival experience. Thank you. We thank are. You. Thank yes. you. Mm -hmm. Aww, it's so oh, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I have the pills now. I get in on the group. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>